Hello, Vandals. Thank you for joining me to discuss the state of the University of Idaho. This has been a year like no other, challenging in some ways, but one that has enabled the University of Idaho to achieve many positive outcomes. While many institutions of higher learning around the globe sat still, we planned. When most universities threw up their hands, we took action to remain open. While universities across the nation left COVID to run its course, we identified, isolated, and cared for the stricken in our community. Because of these actions, we've continued to provide an unparalleled in-person education to our students. We move forward our outreach efforts that are benefiting underserved communities throughout Idaho. And we advance critical research that is addressing some of the most vexing problems our communities face. Today we'll celebrate how we achieve fiscal stability and set the gold standard for COVID-19 response. Lauren Carlson, president of the Associated Students of the University of Idaho, will share an update from the student perspective. I'll highlight some of the projects our researchers are tackling that directly benefit our state and region and the activities that are driving economic benefit throughout Idaho. I'll also share what these achievements mean for the future of the University of Idaho, a future that I believe is brighter than ever. Right-sizing our budget was a key focus heading into last year. Every corner of the university contributed to a holistic approach to securing our financial future that included a painful but necessarily aggressive budget reduction plan. Through program prioritization, we analyzed each academic program and made difficult eliminations or combinations where streamlining made sense. We implemented workforce reductions and other difficult measures. Today, many of our colleagues are doing work that had previously been chaired by two or three people. This is recognized and appreciated. We implemented a mandatory furlough program to meet the governor's 5% holdback for fiscal year 21. Together, we corrected what had been a multi-year budget shortfall so quickly, we caught the attention of the consultants at the Huron Consulting Group who reached out to learn from us. In their experience with higher education, most universities fail to make improvements as fast as we have. Our financial turnaround prepared us to thrive, even in the face of realities and costs associated with a global pandemic. I acknowledge that this hasn't been easy on any of us. I sincerely hope we never again find ourselves in a similar situation. Through the hard work and commitment of nearly everyone across the university, paired with our rollout of a new hybrid budget model, we shouldn't have to. By continuing to provide in-person learning and taking advantage of new investments in distance learning, I am optimistic we will further strengthen our economic outlook while effectively serving students. Heading into 2020, none of us could have predicted the disruption and distraction that a global pandemic would bring. I'm incredibly proud of the University of Idaho's COVID-19 response. Early on, we identified necessary actions, including setting up a COVID-19 testing lab that allowed us to protect our community, respond quickly to infection clusters, isolate and care for our students who fell ill, and continue providing meaningful in-person instruction for our students. Public health tells us not a single case was contact traced back to one of our classrooms. You, our employees and students, continually demonstrate your commitment to keeping one another as safe as possible every single day. While most universities either closed their doors to in-person learning or tried to open and failed to preserve the health of their communities, vandals succeeded. Our smart, hardworking, inspiring students are at the heart of everything that we do. One of them, Lauren Carlson, president of the Associated Students of the University of Idaho, will share some highlights of the student experience over the past year. Thank you, President Green. I couldn't agree with you more. This year has been unlike anything we could have expected. And while there have been many changes that made the 2020 to 2021 academic year look very different than my previous three here at the University of Idaho, it hasn't all been negative. When I first stepped into my role as president of the Associated Students of the University of Idaho, and we were meeting weekly to discuss reopening plans, I was skeptical about what would be best for our students and the larger Vandal family, including all of our campuses and the communities in which we live. I didn't know whether planning to return to in-person classes was our best option but now I can say I'm happy we did. For those who are not comfortable or able to return in person, the university provided the accommodations and the support needed for the success of all students. For those who were able to return in person, we were able to provide the desired in-person education as safe as possible. While the pandemic was by no means forgiving and it has changed all of our lives in many ways, I am proud of what we, the students of the University of Idaho, have accomplished in remaining committed to our education and to keeping our community safe. 
By following testing protocols, distancing in classrooms, wearing face coverings while on campus and other measures, we've been able to experience as normal a year as we could have. For me and many other students, this is exactly what we needed. Though I have learned more lessons in my time at the U of I than I can count, there are two that I'll be walking away with from this past year. The first is that when people come together, great things really can happen. It might sound a little cliche, but what the Vandal family accomplished this year was a truly collaborative effort. We all committed to ourselves and to each other in ways that have kept one another safe and allowed us to succeed. The second lesson I learned is how truly unbreakable the Vandal spirit is. This year was hard for all of us, but each and every day our Vandal family showed up and gave our best. As a graduating senior this spring, I am thankful for this past year. I am grateful for our faculty and staff working in and outside of the classrooms to support our students, and I'm proud of my fellow students for finding such grit and resilience within themselves during this unprecedented time. To me, this showcases our undeniable, unbreakable spirit. It underscores what it means to keep calm and truly vandal on. I will forever be inspired by our vandal community. I know I speak for all students when I say I'm proud to be a vandal and I'm grateful for everything that goes into making our educations possible. Thank you, and as always, go Vandals. Now back to you, President Green. Thank you, Lauren. Over 70% of our students are from right here in Idaho. Nearly half are the first in their family to attend college. Since Abraham Lincoln signed the Morrill Act into law nearly 160 years ago, and after 132 years in operation, the University of Idaho has remained focused on its land-grant mission to educate the children of those who toil in the branches of learning related to agriculture, engineering, and military science not to exclude other scientific and classical studies. It isn't surprising that the pandemic has impacted enrollment. Despite this, we're feeling positive that our strategic, student-centered efforts will pay off. We began student recruitment virtually this year, but following our governor's orders, we're transitioning to safely distanced, in-person enrollment events. We have 10 U-Idaho-bound sessions on the campus beginning later this month. These visits are important, as I'm sure you'll agree. Once you walk our historic, picturesque campus in what I'm convinced is the perfect college town, you just get it. We also understand that not all future vandals are Moscow bound. For them, our locations in Boise, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho Falls, and McCall bring the quintessential University of Idaho closer to home. Broadening our footprint in Boise, our undergraduate offerings in architecture, landscape architecture, and architecture and design saw increases in enrollment this year. The R. Jim Coeur d'Alene Collaborative brings the university, state, city, and tribal leaders to address lake health and have conversations about protecting our local water resources. And in Idaho Falls, our research continues to re-envision our understanding of nuclear energy through the use of molten salt. This innovative technique improves safety and efficiency of nuclear operations. Responding to community need, 100 McCall Donnelly students in kindergarten through fifth grade Learn science at the McCall Outdoor Science School at the McCall Field Campus this year. The outdoor classroom collaboration helped local families better balance work and family during the pandemic. When traveling in our great state, it always pains me to hear of a promising student deciding not to join the Vandal family because of a worry over how they'll afford their college education. For many students, cost is the deciding factor. Scholarships make their decision easier. Last year, we awarded $30 million in scholarships and continued growing the Vandal Promise Scholarships. These need-based scholarships help close the $5,000 gap many students face in the cost of attendance. The young people of our state are smart, hardworking, and ambitious. It's important that they have the opportunity to elevate themselves through a University of Idaho education and career preparation. In the last year, we implemented procedures and programs designed to be engaging, responsive, adaptable, and importantly, that have enabled us to better support our students. We continued providing enhanced student support through centralized advising, degree mapping, and career building. In addition, we are putting extra energy behind supporting our first and second year students by building momentum pathways through the Vandal Star Academic Advising and Tracking System. We've also begun infusing efficiencies into our course offerings by analyzing degrees for bottleneck classes. We've tackled this both internally and externally through a beta test project on degree analytics in partnership with the Association of Public Land Grant Universities. For decades, we've been producing graduates who've carved out successful careers in cybersecurity. 
Last year, we established Idaho's first bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and welcomed the first 15 students into the program. It's a great example of how we're meeting the needs of Idaho's students, as well as industry's needs for more qualified and credentialed cybersecurity professionals. Vandals learn by doing. As many as two-thirds of our undergraduates participate in research every year. Upon graduation, vandals enter the job market able to command top salaries due to their relevant, hands-on experiences. This level of undergraduate research participation is unique to the University of Idaho. At most universities, only the graduate students have access to this kind of groundbreaking research. We are committed to ensuring that the benefits of a college education enriched with opportunities like undergraduate research continue to be available to our students. We're working to align the University of Idaho's research enterprise with the needs of industry. A good example of this is our researchers at Parma who can identify airborne plant pathogens and quickly notify farmers so that they can respond before crops are damaged. Water and sustainability remain major themes of our research enterprise. Our extension faculty track snowpack, water consumption, crop yields, and plant growth across the state to get a complete picture of water quality and inform future practices to aid groundwater recharge. Our researchers are breeding varieties of wheat, potatoes, and oil seeds that deliver higher yields with better disease resistance and stress tolerance, benefiting the grower's bottom line. We support Idaho's booming aquaculture industry with more efficient ways to feed and raise fish to meet growing global demand. The work we do at Hagerman and in Moscow has attracted attention from around the world. Idaho is the third largest dairy producing state in the nation. The Center for Agriculture, Food and the Environment will support needed research for our milk producers and companies in the region including Chobani and Glambia. Design for the dairy is underway with plans to break ground this summer. Our research is also meeting the needs of a growing tech sector. We forged a five-year partnership with Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories last spring that is expanding the U of I's cyber education and research through a focus on developing inherently cyber secure industrial control systems. At the University of Idaho, we work together to address challenges. We took on the task of finding answers to COVID-19 related questions, including the effect of COVID-19 on breast milk, a study that has received national attention and produced results that will enable health professionals to provide important advice to expectant mothers. Additionally, our modeling team provided predictive data used by the state and local communities to make decisions. Our researchers pitched in to help our community by running our testing lab and tracking changes in wastewater. You've certainly noticed that wildfires dominate the landscape each summer and smoke from hundreds of miles away can impact daily life. Smoke also affects animals as we found out through research into the effect of smoke on cattle. Our discovery of living microbes in wildfire smoke uncovered an entirely new scientific field and further research into the possible effects of these microbes on human and plant health. These are just a few of the research projects the university conducted last year. Our research expenditures, together with other investments, have a multiplier effect that generates over $1 billion in economic activity annually for the state of Idaho. Our athletics department continues to evaluate and implement procedures and policies including compliance, Title IX, and issues of competitiveness. Many of our student athletes have excelled academically and received regional and league awards. I look forward to what our talented athletes will accomplish in a year not altered by COVID-19. As we close out this challenging year like none other, we're establishing a foundation for future success. P3 agreement for management of our steam plant and utility system will enable us to reinvest $6 million a year in key objectives, including reaching R1 status, telling our story, and student success. This is realized in the fiscal year 22 budget. A key element of the P3 program is that the money has to be used to strategically produce revenue and cannot be used to fill operating deficits in other places. A seismic shift in how people engaged occurred this year with the pandemic moving everyone to remote work and learning. The experience solidified our need to build our online education enterprise. We need to take our nationally recognized, high value University of Idaho education to those who can benefit. As a result, a working group analysis is guiding us as we analyze program and offering differentiators, strengths, potential, target market needs, relevance, and more. We are also hiring a leader to bring our online and distance learning offerings to fruition. 
New leadership is breaking down silos and collaborating on an integrated, coordinated approach to support and drive the University of Idaho forward. The additions of a VP of Research and Economic Development, Chris Nomura, Chief Marketing Officer, Teresa Keppel, Associate Vice President of Development, Ben McLuhan, and Provost, Tori Lawrence, fill out the leadership team that is driving our university forward. Our dynamic future takes a shape in the many capital projects happening around the state. As I mentioned earlier, we're close to breaking ground on CAFE, our world-class dairy facility in the Magic Valley. On the other side of the state, we're in the final design phase of the new plant and soil health facility at Parma. This will help us continue to meet the ever-growing needs of our agricultural producers. Here in Moscow, a new seed potato germplasm facility is under construction on the west end of campus. 90% of Idaho potatoes can trace their roots to the existing lab. The new facility will address a greater demand for plantlets and mini tubers. Right next door, we hope to soon break ground on the Meat Sciences Center, what we know as Vandal Brand Meats. And who can miss the beauty of the ICCU Arena and its thoughtful wood design that accentuates the landscape near the Kibbe Dome on our Moscow campus. This arena, home to Vandal basketball and events, represents what happens when visionary partners come together. That same vision, a vision of possibility, collaboration, and service, drives our future. Thank you, and go Vandals!